Hey guys, Brentfree's Laser here. Basically, I wanted to show off this, uh, com uh not comment, <laughs> this replay. Um, I think it's a pretty cool deck. It's obviously, it's Dragon Rulers, basically. Um, a lot of people will say that the deck is dead. I think, I just think that it's balanced now, pretty much. Uh, it's been balanced for a while, actually, since they, they went to one. It's where they should have been for a while, obviously, but enough of that. Uh, basically, I just want to show off this, this gameplay. Because it kind of shows off like what the deck can do all together, and uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. So let's get right into it. So basically, I start off the hand I start off with. Nope, I didn't mean to swap, swap it. The hand I usually this, this this one I start off with mathematician, dark hole, uh, soul charge, title, allure, and creature swap. I really like opening with mathematician because I can go right into uh, dandelion or uh, eclipse wyvern. So that lets me play some stuff for. And it sets up for the uh the lad that is in my deck so that's pretty cool and i like to play dark hole i don't care what anybody says dark hole's good i think dark hole is always going to be good it's free removal basically um you get to plus one he has a, a decree and a mystical which i didn't know i wasn't sure what it, what, what i was playing against yet so then i open up a, i i pull a mystical uh creature swap is super powerful in this deck um you have dandelions you have mathematicians all sorts of good stuff to just give your opponent Unfortunately, I didn't know he was playing Giant Germ, so that kind of comes to bite me in the butt later. But I think Creature Swap is a very powerful spell right now. Um, I mean, I've always really liked it, but I think it's really good right now. It's, uh, it lets you do a lot of tricks. So, there you go. There's Creature Swap. Get, I give him Attack Position Token, and he takes 1500. Um, he goes into Junk Synchron, and goes into Junk Warrior, and all that fun stuff that Synchron deck likes to do. Um, I feel like he overextended a little bit. He probably should have stopped right there without going into quick draw and all that. But um, yeah, I was I was just assuming that he didn't have some form of removal. I'm also taking in a, a burial. That's pretty cool. So I, I take 1500 or something, 1800, and then I go into my turn. And had he had like a dark bribe or just anything to counter my spell, he probably would have been okay. But he gets dark hold, loses everything. I go into soul charge. I take 2k, but I'm about to gain it back. Over the course of a couple turns with my tuning wear or fortune tune, yeah, so that's really cool. He set a new card, and typically I don't like to blind MST, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a torrential or something. Um, yeah, so I just want, I didn't want it to be there, uh, you know, new move or whatever. But it, you know, I just I was trying to play safe. Um, I figured he had a mystical because it kept asking him to chain something, so you know he was taking time to do that. But uh, yeah, so I draw into my lad. And uh, black dragon uh, collar s serpent. Is that what they collapse serpent? Okay, so uh, yeah, he go he sets off Eclipse Wyvern. That's basically what he's in there for is to go into Eclipse Wyvern. Um, he he draws a hand destruction. You know, whatever. I draw another creature swap. I used to play it slow. Go in and draw some cards. Got our Eclipse Wyvern going for some hits. And slowly, I'm gaining my life back from the Soul Charge. But Fortune Tune's really good in this deck. It lets you play Soul Charge kind of like willy nilly. And then if your opponent doesn't have an answer for Fortune Tune, and most people don't play Creature Swap. I mean not Creature Swap, but Dark Hole, so yeah. But he brought a catastrophe and I had to I had to avoid destruction twice, which is okay. But that's whatever. So now I'm gonna go into a Black Rose and go up this whole field. And that sets off my Eclipse Wyvern and my Fortune Tune. Uh, Fortune Tune lets you put back two level three monsters in your graveyard and itself back into the extra deck. And so I chose um, Nishipachi and Mathematician because I want to keep uh, what's it, Dandelion in the graveyard as long as I can because I have ways of using it over and over. I have a debris still. Um, I have, you know, Crane Crane, all sorts of stuff. Did I actually did I use my debris? Let's see. No. So there you go. I mean, I have, you know, I have lots of ways. I still have a debris in the deck. I have Crane Crane right here that I can use still. I think I have another Crane Crane. So yeah, there's a lot. I wanna, you want to keep. Dandelion in the graveyard as long as you can, basically. And so I set set off a uh, title, and I go so I can grab uh, Lad with or whatever I grab Red Eyes with the uh, Eclipse Wyvern, and then I'm gonna go into setting Burial so that I can activate it next turn or at the end of his turn, or you know try to bait something out, see if he has a mystical, whatever. And he draws Ryko, sets it. He's gonna activate it anyway, so I can bring out, so I can activate title again. And so basically, I go into uh, Crane Crane, give him my Dandelion in attack mode, creature swap, and then suicide with it. 
so I can get its token. So I pretty much lost nothing except the creature swap, which isn't too bad. Um, and then he draws a Coolable Hedgehog, and at that point I'm pretty much assured victory. I know he's going to attack Raikou, because what am I going to do with tokens, right? Um, basically... That was a probably a poor move on his choice. Uh, I mean, on his part. Uh, he, well, it was either that or set the cool bolt and hope that I hit it or something. But uh, you know, I have his Raiko, so he probably wants to get rid of it. He mills my Redix <laughs> with Raiko and and another Clip Swiffer, so I I go into Title again, um, activating Clip Swiffer's effect, getting another Lad. I could have went into Redix also, so I could have went Title and then Redix. And then I, I could have went into a rank 7, um, which I'm playing. So I have, you know, Big Eye and Draco Sack and all that fun stuff. And yeah, and just been really rude, but I just wanted to end the game. So I brought out Tidal and Eclipse, uh, not Eclipse, Lad, and just end the game. So yeah, that's pretty much what the deck does. It's really fun. Um, yeah, I, um, I'm just going to post the, the, the deck profile at the end of this video, you can see what's in the deck, basically, or I'll, I'll post a download, but it's typical stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just it's a really fun deck. Uh, it's, it's basically a Monster Mash variant of Dragon Rulers. It, does, it only plays like six spells or something like that. It's a, uh, yeah, it's really cool. I really like it a lot. Um, yeah, and Exploder Dragon is really awesome. Uh, you can do some cool stuff with that too, basically because, uh, like if your opponent puts a big threat on the board, you can just attack into it and kill it for free because you don't take any damage basically so yeah i really like this deck so let me know what you guys think of the deck in the comment section hit the like subscribe button when i put any videos and thanks for watching